Hi guys, my name's Andrew Ogilvy and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be playing some more FIFA and it's the Club and Country career mode with Hamilton. And we're going to kick things off with some offers that we got for some of our players. And it's two of our key players. It's the goalkeeper Fulton and our right mid is Smith. And there's no chance we're getting rid of them. And that's pretty much all that's happened in between the, the last episode and this. Uh, we ha only had those offers, it was only worth showing that. As Doig comes in against his uh, former team. I was actually keeping keeping my, my hopes up. We could beat off Celtic in the last game and it, was, it wasn't even beat. It was a. I don't even know how to describe it. It was. It was a, a serious, serious lesson learned, like in terms of uh, messing about with tactics and things like that, which I did do. I had a wee bit of time spent into my tactics, and uh, as we go into the first sort of like clips here, as you can see, in the thirteenth minute we get the ball with Campbell feeds it out to Doig, and I, I, this is something that I, I end up switching it around, and I brought a uh, tempo and back on. I was starting to uh, play a uh, deep delivery. Chalmers, I couldn't remember the guy's name, starting to play Chalmers a wee bit more, but I'm glad I started tempo because he breaks the ball down the, the left-hand side, whips it in for Smith, and Smith's going to get there nine times out of ten. Whether or not he actually puts the ball in the net is another another factor, um, but I, I, I love those balls, see those balls, balls in FIFA this year, it's just fantastic for me, that's the way I love to play is. Uh, down the wing and whip it in last minute and hopefully there's someone there, <laughs> hopefully. Hence why we've got 80 pace, uh, 80 pace Smith on the right hand side. Uh, do you know, 80 pace isn't even a lot in uh, today's standards of FIFA playing, especially like with the other other uh, clubs and countries that you could play with, uh, i.e. England, you can get 90, rate at, uh, 90 pace players right down at the 60 odd rated and, uh, and uh, you're, you're pretty much laughing aren't you as we get the ball out to Patterson into Smith and I was I was feeling really good you can see I'm, I'm building it up again going down the wing, uh, the wing. and uh, I, this was one of these games where I had quite a lot of the possession of the ball just knocked it about trying to break them down as we give the ball to Callahan. and that's a, for me that has to be a goal and that was the last kick of the first half that I don't know how I've not put that in. That's a finesse shot, and I think Callahan's weak foot's at two star. I believe after I came off this, I did start uh, training his weak foot because that's that's ridiculous. Like that's a that's a goal all day long. As we come out after missing that chance, I um, I came out all guns blazing, and we broke down the line with Smith, who puts it across goal, but just misses. He is definitely our key man. He's my go-to player. I'm, I'm, whenever I'm running forward, I'm thinking, who's like, where am I going to put this out to the right? He's going to be himself nine times out of ten as we get the ball to want gives it to gives it to Doig and I should have stood this up at the back post but it falls to Callahan on the finesse volley with his weak foot I, do you know I had to put it in just for the the, the, the laughter man if that went in that would have been a fantastic goal but he wasn't too far away I suppose was he um, and this was one of these games where I just couldn't seem to like defend and as you can see my midfield just aren't dropping back I, I, and I'd been messing about with my, my tactics uh, for a wee bit here uh, prior to the, prior to this game and then after this game as, as well. As you can see, they're doing this like, ticky tack of football and I, I really can't defend against it. And I'm just pulling players out as the keeper managed to make a last ditch save. Uh, and he just got fingers tips to it and it, they really did deserve to score there as uh, the 90th minute came and it was one of those games where the last 10 minutes was all them. I broke up the part and I kicked the ball to play. I wanted it over and done with. The 1-0 win for me was everything. But it definitely highlighted some facts for me uh, going into the next game as uh, I had no money. So we, we managed to get a wee offer in for Scott McMahon who's, I believe he's a left wing back. We're not going to be using him so I, I thought we may as well cash in and get some money for him as he sold for, I think we got 1.3 million for him moving into the next match against St Johnston and St Johnston were like second on my list for a team to uh, like use uh, so this was going to be a good tester for us they are sort of like I think they're like the second worst rated team I might be wrong in saying that but I think they're the second worst rated team as they slip the ball through here they were playing fantastic football and uh, Patterson manages to win the ball in the last ditch tackle that's why we brought him in He's got a wee bit of pace he can actually defend. <laughs> he's not got the best. As uh, Smith, like I said, he's always making the runs. And uh, he's going to feed the ball here to Winter, who has started in this game and he hits the post. Uh, Anderson would have buried that and that's just down to me trying to give everyone a game, keep them all happy. And that, and that broke that uh, up for us. And there wasn't really much to this game as we come into the 50th minute and they're knocking the ball about pretty well. And it was it was all me, I had all the possession in this game and this was the, like, the first shot on target. And it's just so easy. See that run past the defender, I can't deal with it. I've not, my defence don't doesn't have the pace to deal with it. They've got like, I think one's got like 58 pace and the other one's got 60 pace. It's really not helping me with uh, having very slow defenders so 
next thing I need to do is start lo looking at the youth system and bringing in some of these some youth players with, with uh, a bit of pace that can actually start or come off the bench and sort of secure a lead or defend a wee bit better and catch up with the strikers. You see, I'm trying to pull them back there. I've got no chance, haven't I? And the keeper just slots by. And I believe I started Gordon in this one. And to be fair, I, 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 I'm probably not going to start him again. Let's say I think he played against the Cel Celtic and he started in this game. And he had that chance there to save and missed <laughs> as uh, Gordon distributes the ball. That's the one good thing about him. He has got good distribution. As I give it to Smith and you can see that run. I see it, you see it. I slipped the ball through and run Winter just runs out of legs. It was the equaliser. Uh, oh, do you know, even now I've got my hands in my, my hands in my head. It was one of those chances that I can't believe I passed it up. And they're knocking the ball about. I had committed so many players forward. Not that anyone tends to come back in my team anyway. <laughs> and uh, it, it was coming, wasn't it? 90th minute almost. And they slipped the ball past Gordon for 2-0. And do you know what? It was their two chances on target and they taken them. And that's... Uh, I, I, that just shows you what sort of team St Johnson actually have. They, they have got a, a no bad strike force in this in this uh, career mode. They seem to have been, been doing no, no too bad against us anyway. Every time they got forward, I did struggle with my defending, but that was their two clear cut chances and they scored from them. And uh, I, do you know we didn't deserve it? We really didn't. After after uh, all the possession that we had in their half and we just couldn't utilise anything. We, I don't know if it was just maybe Winter up top not having enough strength about him. He's only got 48 strength on his uh, like overall stats, which just isn't isn't what we're looking for. Uh, the physicals, not strength. Uh, overall, like 48 physicals, which is just uh, useless. Well, and that sort of scene, that was the nail in the coffin, 2-0 down. I just knocked the ball out wide and that was me. I was, I was done. I was going to try and run forward and I ended up losing the ball. <laughs> but luckily enough, the whistle blows. We put it out of misery. And do you know what? It's actually, it's pretty realistic. Uh, I, I wouldn't like to think that you guys were watching this expecting me to win every single game. We are playing with a lesser team. But it definitely highlighted that my defence, my midfield weren't dropping back over the two games. So do you know what? With the money we got from uh, McMahon, we're going in, we're buying Elliot Watt uh, from... I believe, who, who's that? Is that Bradford City? I think it's Bradford City we got him off of. Uh, and we go in. Well, I say we've got him off. <laughs> I've ruined the surprise. We end up signing someone. <laughs> we end up picking him up for 700,000 plus one of their players. And it's a striker, Smith, that we, we haven't even started. We haven't even used him once. And it just gets him off the wage, bud wage budget, even though we end up slightly overpaying. I don't mind that. I, as long as we're getting rid of some players and bringing in fresh faces. Uh, players that I actually would like to play with. Um as we, we go into the negotiation side of things. And he is, he is one of our better players at 63 rated. So I did give him a wee bit of a better contract. I ended up giving him, what was that, 1.5. Look at how much he's on already, 2.5. I had to make it a wee bit better for him uh, compared to the rest of our squad. So he's one of the higher higher paid players, but we managed to pick him up pretty pretty cheap. And uh, I picked up Parson, but I was thinking get some depth in now. So I've seen this 16 year old, Max Johnson. Actually, I've never seen him play football. But his stats look not too bad. We offer them 190,000, which is less than his valuation and they accepted. That's the good thing about these 16 and 17 and 18 year olds in the Scottish League. The big teams don't really want them, and Motherwell are a bigger team. Although they're our rivals, we managed to pick them up for less than valuation. We gave him a contract on his current wage for less than what he's getting paid, and he came to us because we offered him a slightly better contract. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand how, but that then brought me on to a goalkeeper, a secondary goalkeeper. Because Gordon was absolutely terrible, and he has he's already lost like three start, uh, three um, overalls down. So I thought bringing someone young, I can put him out on loan, and when Gordon's by, we've, we've got this guy in the background ready. But that taking us on to transfer deadline day, well that was all done at transfer deadline day, the very first hour of it. I knew exactly what I was going in for, as I get an offer for one of our centre midfielders, and I, do you know what, I've not played with him, so I did accept it. Uh, in fact, I think I asked for one, wasn't I? I can't remember off the top of my head, we'll soon see here. But they, they accepted it, but they accepted it with an hour left to go, so I ended up rejecting it, because it's not going to go through. And uh, as you can see, we, there's a lot of teams here have spent a, a, a lot of money, but I thought I'd run through them all just to show you. Um, if you're a Scottish player, a uh, Scottish football fo follower, you want to um, see who went where. Chalmers obviously came to us, we, we spent quite a lot, and we did um, did bring in, uh, did let go, sorry, uh, quite a lot of people off, uh, off our team. As, uh, as I'm looking along this list, the now, the next one for me, I, I believe Rangers, Look at that, they got rid of uh, Golson, Parts and Barisic. Golson and Barisic are like their two starters for me. <laughs> That's absolutely mad being a Rangers fan. But anyway, 
hopefully they can do well in the league because you know I don't think we're going to be challenging for the title. Not when we're getting beat off of the likes of St Johnston. Uh, no disrespect for St Johnston, but I, I thought we should be, we should be beating them. As a uh, look at how much uh, Celtic spent. They've spent an absolute fortune, and uh, I thought we'd just let this run out and you can have a wee look at what what I tend to do. Um, I, in terms of like the new months, I've always got the staff set up so that they get in, get someone in in the new months. 300k for this guy uh, on his valuation. So I did sign him. He doesn't have the 94 top potential, but he's better than what we've got, realistically. So I thought, bring him in, and I thought I'd give you a wee update on the youth system. We've got these two guys here. Ballantyne, 61 rated. He's already pretty decent, but I had a wee look at this after uh, after filming. I did move him to right mid as a, uh, like to train him up as right mid and uh, I, I didn't really capture that. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I, I was questioning myself here. I put him on wide midfielder, but I de end, did end up changing it. And we've got this guy here, Giles, calm, 54 rated, not too bad, 15 year old. He's got a couple of years before he's going to come out of the system. Let's let's be realistic about it. And I eventually move him. But if you like this episode, give us a wee like and subscribe and a like and a follow and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.